Hello, good people of YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I created a video, but I've been tinkering around with my home lab again, and I figured I would share what I've been doing. Um, so I have this uh, Kubernetes cluster r running in a Rancher desktop on my MacBook. It's actually very easy to set up. And I've been tinkering around with uh, Grafana and Prometheus because I want to load in my Stra Strava da data. And I'm going to be making a, a video um, after this one about that. But first I figured out how to install Prometheus and Grafana in, uh, in a very easy way. It's not that straightforward uh, when trying to figure out how to do it. But I found the Cube Prometheus stack helm chart, which really makes it uh, super simple. Uh, so I have this cluster running and KGP is an alias for uh, kubectl get pods. Uh, I have these pods run running. It has been running for 10 minutes, as you can see. And I have the official chart documentation here. And here it instructs you which commands to run in order to install it. So I will just do these just for good measure to show that these um, repositories are installed on my system. So that's what you do when you do Helm repo add, you install them on your local system so that you can then uh, install it to your cluster. And then it shows this uh, command to do a Helm install. I have formatted this command as well uh, this way. So I'm going to be explaining it. Helm install Prometheus stack. This is the, the um, release name. This is the actual thing that I'm going to be installing. The Prometheus community Prometheus stack. I want it to be in the namespace Prometheus stack and I want to create the namespace as I do it. So I press enter here and this is going to take a little while. So I can open up a new screen and check out if any pods are coming up and yes they are. So if I switch to the Prometheus stack namespace which has been created and I just open K9S pods. We can check out what's uh, what's happening. It is creating a secret. And now more containers are coming up. It probably needs to pull in all the images. And just takes a little bit. And all the containers are up and running. So our installation has gone well. And let's see what we have. We have all of these pods that we just saw in K9S as well. And let's see, we also should have some services. And here we go. We have the Prometheus stack Grafana service. So in order to be able to access this in the browser, we need to do something called port forwarding. So we'll do a K port forward svc so you want to do a service port forward not a pod prometheus stack grafana and we want to forward it to port 3000 and we want to pick port 80 in the service as you see here here we go so now we are creating a tunnel towards the 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 pod so now if I press localhost 3000, I should be able to see my Grafana dashboard. And here we go. Now the default credentials are admin and then it's uh, prom operator, I believe. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so how, how, do, how did I know this? Well, let's check out. Uh, there is this command called show values. Uh, show values here and uh, I will just go to my temp folder for a bit and then I'll do the show values command and this command uh, um, takes the default values file and it pipes it 
or it redirects it to a new file, which I call Prometheus default values.yaml. So I'll add that to the notes of this video as well. Here we go. So now in my temp folder, I have this Prometheus default values file, which I can now uh, interact with. So if I want to add custom values to my deployment of the, the stack, the Prometheus and Grafana stack, uh, I can uh, use a values file to make the configuration. And in here, there should be a password. Yeah, here we go. So here we have this admin password parameter, which has the prom operator value set to it. So that's the default value. And this is just a local home lab thing. So I'm not very concerned about the security at this point. But um, at least you know where you can configure it. And uh, in, in the future, I'm going to make this a little bit more secure. But um, it took me a little bit to figure all of this out. Uh, there are many charts available and many ways to do it. But this was the easiest one I found. So it also comes with some uh, dashboards. So if we can check out, we already have some. Uh, well, there's not much data to see yet. And that is probably, uh, let's see pods and if we go to the Prometheus stack namespace and check the Grafana pod it is not showing any data probably because I am I haven't configured it properly but at least we have a Grafana UI available to us and now what I next step I want to do is to uh, import my Strava data and start querying that in Grafana. So this has been a very quick and dirty way to uh, get a Prometheus stack up and running on your cluster. So let's just review what we have. We have a Prometheus operator, we have a node exporter, metrics, and a Grafana deployment. We have everything we need and now we can start fiddling around and configure it uh, from here. So in the next video, I'm going to build Strava dashboard. So check that out if you want to follow along with that too. Thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know how it went for you.